One of the most important structures in Whitby's history was a stop this past Saturday on the Doors Open Tour. Liam Dempster now has more on why the Centennial Building is so special. The Centennial Building, Whitby's original courthouse, has been around almost as long as Whitby itself and has more stories floating through its halls than one may think. It's uh, one of the finest Victorian buildings in the province. As I said, it was classical revival style, which was very popular in the 1850s. And this is really um, an architectural treasure. It's uh, designated under the Ontario Heritage Act as a historic building. And it's something that Whitby should really be proud of. Now, the courthouse uh, was built like a Greek temple. You notice the, uh, the Doric columns on the front of it and uh, it looks very much like the Parthenon in Greece. The courthouse, in 1964, moved to a newer, larger building and was repurposed into what is now known as the Courthouse Theatre, a room with its fair share of ghost stories. And so there were actually two men that were sent to be executed from this courtroom, one in 1910 and one in uh, 1946. And there's a story, um, not confirmed, but uh, uh, psychics said that uh, there was a ghost in the courtroom. In fact, psychics say there's multiple ghosts in the courtroom. It was 2003. The, the whole uh, front portion of the structure was reconstructed. They took all the walls out of the main foyer and enlarged it and uh, took the ceilings and the floors out so that you can look actually right into the dome all the way from uh, the first floor. Well, the dome was part of what was called classical revival style. And this was popular in the 1850s, and it's really an ornament. Well, there's several historical artifacts here. Uh, I guess the most important is the Meriwether fire engine. And that is uh, a steam fire engine of 1872 that was bought by the town of Whitby for $2,000, which was a lot of money in those days. And this served as our town fire engine from 1872 to 1926. Whitby people should become familiar with this building. It's a treasure that we have here, and uh, I'm surprised that so many people who live here have never been in it. In Whitby, Liam Dempster, Durham Now.